Hello, in this brief video I'm going to show you how debugging works in Visual Studio's code. So I've already got Visual Studio's code installed. This is using Windows Subsystem for Linux, as I can see in the bottom left corner. And I got my project open, which is a simple C++ file. So the first thing I'm going to want to do is I'm going to want to set a breakpoint. I'm going to do it right here at the top on the first line of my, my main function. And on the left hand side I'll click the breakpoint. I could also right click on my code and then say uh, add breakpoint. I think it's in here somewhere. If not, I'll just click on the left. So the next thing, I want to go up to the Run menu and say Start Debugging, which is F5. I have not yet set up my debugger, and so I'm going to select that I want the G++ build, and it's looking for the G++ build and launch the active file. That's what I'll select here. And now it's able to compile and run my program. Now because I have a breakpoint set in my program, we can see that it's got this yellow bar that indicates that it has stopped while running this line of code. So I'm going to go up here to the top and I'm going to click Step Over, which is F10 on my keyboard. So I'm going to keep hitting F10 or clicking the Step Over, and we can see that as it runs, it's going to be executing that. And here we have it. How old are you? So I'll type in, let's say 18. And I'm going to go back to hitting F10 to step over one line at a time. Now as I'm doing that, on the top left hand corner we've got these variables. We can actually watch my program as it executes. So I've got age was already created, and we've got 18 in there. Adult was a constant, we set that to 19. But look, senior, we think it should be 65, but it hasn't been set yet. It just holds garbage. It's uninitialized to start with. So I'm now going to hit F10 and step over, and it gets initialized to 65, like we're expecting. I can now watch the logic happen. If age is less than adult, which it is, I'm going to come into here, and we can see it step in, and I can watch it execute in progress. It prints out, you're a minor in BC, and then it comes into this if statement. Let me scroll down a little. If age is greater than or equal to senior, if it's not, we jump over, and we get to the return. At this point, I could stop, or if I like, I could still hit step over, but it's going to do something funny. It's going to leave my code, and it's go back into the code that launched my program. And so it's actually in the uh, libc start, and when you get to this point, we don't really care. We're kind of off the map. I'll stop it. Close that file. It's not my code. So let me show you that again. Run with debugger. Let's try different values. I'm going to watch it here at the top. We see age currently holds some garbage. So I'll step over, and it set it to zero. I'm going to print to the screen. You'll note nothing actually showed up until the uh, new line. If you've got a new line character, it'll actually then show up on the screen. It kind of flushes the buffer, we would say. So once we actually input, it's going to flush it. Let's put it in where 77. Now I can watch along as these variables will initialize. They may be different than before, but when we set their values, of course, the program begins to work just the way we expect it to. Are we less than adult? No. Are we greater than or equal to a senior? Yes, we are. So let's see what happens. Years as a senior is a new variable. Let me just expand that out. We still have we have some garbage there. So years as a senior equals, and we'll calculate this. If I mouse over, I can see the values. 77 minus 65. And this is currently going to hold garbage, but if I hit F10 and then mouse over it again, it'll show me the value 12. So you are a senior in BC. You have been a senior for, and we'll print it out, 12 years. How does it feel being a senior? We see here that word is a variable I've declared, but it hasn't been declared yet, so it can't access it. Once I do this, it's now been in, um, created. I'll read in a value. I say, super. We're ready to print it out. We can see all the values printed out there. Now I hit F10, and it looked like it went back, what's actually going to happen now is it's going to run what's called a destructor. It's showing me that the next thing it has to do is going to clean up this word. We haven't seen yet what that's going to do, but it sort of just shows me what part's going to execute. So it may seem like it's jumping around a little bit. It actually has a lot of meaning as to how this is working out. I finish that, and once I'm here, I can just maybe click continue, or I can click stop, whatever I want to do. I'll click continue, and it'll run until the program finishes. Well, that's it. Thanks for watching.